right, good morning. I'm ready to start this recording. We are dealing with Urban Music. That's the name of our new project in Photoshop. Hopefully you will be able to follow this video and hopefully I'm clear. Got a little meek in the background. DC4 just dropped. A little hype about that. If it's too busy, let me know. First thing you do is download PS6-1. I did that. It is online. You can find it right over here. We're going to save this as Urban Music 1. It's a very long skilled project and this is PS6-1. You're going to download that so you click this. You have a preview. Go up top to the three dots. Click that. You're going to click open a new window. After you have it open in the new window you're going to click the down arrow and then it will download as a PSD file that it is since it's a Photoshop document and then you can go ahead about your business. Um, we're going to save this in segments so please save it as Urban Music 1 underscoring your initials. I'm going to save it as something different because um, I am doing a video. So file save as. And I'm going to put it in my own folder. When I get back I'll have saved it. Okay, as you see is my file name up here. It's Urban Music 1 underscore and your initials. I added something else. So the first thing we'll do is display the document size in the status bar. This is our status bar at the bottom. All right, hit that down arrow and make sure to have document size. It says it's a 1.11 slash 4.73. You have that. Um, once that's going on, it says um, make sure you can see the ruler. Say the guides and the rulers. So I'm going to go up top to view. And we're going to go down to show. Guides is checked, and you can see as my vertical and horizontal lines. So we have the status bar is good. The guides are good. We need rulers. My ruler is shown. If you don't see your ruler, you're going to click view and then make sure there's a check next to rulers. Click it if there is no check. My rulers are up here. We have to be in pixels. If you go up top to the ruler, you're going to right click it and mine says pixels. There's a check mark next to that. If not, click it to make sure it's in pixels. All right, this goes from zero pixels to seven, about 720. Maybe 740. That makes sense. 740. And again, um, from the zero mark over here, you can see my dots, my dotted line. So it's zero all the way down to approximately 580, perhaps. All right, so we have that set up. Next up, it says change the workspace to typography. I don't know if that's going to be there. Workspace is window workspace up oh, typography is down here all right click that and it switches up our um, different panels on this right side those are our different windows that come with typography this unit is based on enhancing our um, our typing in our image it's entitled placing type in an image so we're gonna learning about we're gonna be learning about um, type and how it's created changing spacing and adjusting the baseline shift using the drop shadow style, applying anti-aliasing to type, modifying type with bevel and emboss and 3D extrusion, applying special effects to type using filters and creating text on a path. That means this circular pattern over here of the bottom of the violin, we can type on that path and kind of like that arching way. All right, um, next up it says, click the default foreground and background colors. That's over here. If you look down with the colors, you see set foreground, set background. If you click that, the smaller boxes, it's the foreground is black, the background is white. We set those over there, and then it says click the horizontal type tool on the tools panel. This is our tools panel. And I'm looking for it. Good. That's our type, horizontal type tool. Good. If you don't see that, you're going to click and hold that and look for our different type tools. So we have our horizontal type tool that we just clicked and it says click the set the font family list arrow all the way up top set the font family mine says Nirmala UI hit that arrow and want to go down to italic 
that doesn't even sound right nope it says go to Arial alright we have Arial then over here it says the set the font style we're gonna change that to italic alright and after we have the font family list is Arial the font style list is italic we're gonna go ahead and click the set the font size list arrow right next to it set the font size and I'm gonna click that down arrow and choose 48 px 48 pixels after that um, it says click the image with the horizontal type pointer I'm going to drag this up so I can see all of my layers, viola, urban music, horns, and background. So once we click, we're going to add text to a certain layer. It says click the image with a horizontal type. The image is viola. It's already on there. So we're going to click it one time with a horizontal type. The insertion point is that blinking line over there. So we have that active. It means it's ready to type. It says to point it approximately four... 430 to 510, so 430 would be around there. 510, we're going down. So right on this line, it has to click it. I'm just going to move mine because I made a mistake. See how my layer's over there? I made a mistake, but you should be clicking right over here. All right. So since my text is ready to type, I'm going to type the words live music just as I have it. Capital L-I-V-E space M-U-S-I-C. All right, after we type that live music over there, um, the color says it should be yellow based off of the picture on here. I didn't see that part, so I'm just going to let it sit. Yeah, I feel good about that. All right, after we let it sit, we're going to go ahead and hit the move tool. I'm going to drag it back to where they said it should be. Hit the move tool. Our live music layer is active. You're going to click hold and drag that down right over here. See how that is a purple line um, that's on our vertical guide? We're going to drop that thing right there. It's a little bit tough to see. Let's go ahead and... Oh, good. It tells us to switch the text color soon, so we're, we're good with that. All right, so we have that. So now's a great time to save, file, save, because we saved it initially. All we did was add live music with those different font specifications, and we're good. Now, what it says is hold control A. It says change the type color using an existing color in the image. We're going to change that type color of live music, I presume. So you're going to hold control A, control A. Everything on your board is now selected. Once you click Control A and everything is selected, it says set the font family list arrow. Click that down arrow. Ooh. I don't see that. All right, we have to select that image. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to deselect everything with Control D. Control D deselects. Live music is right there. What we're going to do is hit the type tool and then click right where live music is and we'll be able to edit live music. Once you're able to edit that, hit control A and it selects. And now with that selected, we have our um, different font family options up here. We're going to switch this up to Times New Roman. If you I'm just going to delete the word Arial and type times. If I type times out, it pops up. I hit the end key to go down to the end of the word and type, hit the space and new automatically um, pops up. So that's good. what we want. Times New Roman, you're going to hit enter. And if you look, live music has switched its font family type. It also says... Um, Set the font style list arrow to bold italic. So we have the font style over here. We're going to switch that up to bold italic. That's the bottom option. And again, it switches up. We see that immediately. And then it says set the text color button on the options bar. It says to click it. All right. That's our set the text color button. We click that and we're over here. 
it says reposition the color picker there's a color picker text box it says move the dialog box if you need to see the image all right I'm just gonna move it over a little bit I can see this image and now if we move our mouse without clicking on top of our object a little eyedropper pops up it says um, click anywhere in the yellow area of the viola at approximately 465 190 I'm gonna move this dude over just a little bit more so we have 4 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 all right, 65 is going to be around there. So, see how my dotted line is up there? That lets me know that I'm pretty much on target. So, keep it right over there. It's 460. 460X is up and down. And then, ooh, sorry. 190 is the Y. It should be up and down. So, 190 is over here. One ninety over there, and then four sixty-five. That doesn't even feel right. No, nah, that's not good. We'll do four sixty-five this way. Four sixty-five, four sixty, and then one ninety. There we go. So these are a little bit brighter. One ninety is going to be right over here. See how that little shadow is on the viola, and it's like a, a yellow. It's reflecting from some other light. So I'm just going to click one time. I don't like that one time. Click that one time. All right, one time right there. My live music has changed colors, but also where it says new up top, that color is now changed, and our current color is black. We like that. So presuming what the instructions say, they're going to let us know. We're going to click OK. We have OK. Your live music now sets in. We have our colors, everything going on, and I'm hyped. You know I'm hyped. Um, what we're going to do is click OK. We did that. It says click the Commit Any Current Edits button on the Options bar. I don't know where that is. We're going to go ahead and find that thing. Let me put you on hold while we find that. OK, I'm picking back up. I found where it says Commit Any Current Edits button. At the With the live music still selected, you're going to go to this Options bar. That's the Application bar. The Options bar below it, all the way to the right where my mouse is going. You have this, and then that dude in the middle, the little check. It says, commit any current edits. You're going to click that box. And it kind of like seals it in, I believe. It says, click the commit any current edits button to accept your changes and make them permanent. So that is now permanent. It accepts it, like I said. We're all done with this. I will see you for part two of Urban Music.